Hi, welcome to part three of the photodiode series. In this video, we're going to cover how to build and simulate a photodiode amplifier circuit on MPLAT MinD. MPLAT MinD allows you to draw schematics and simulate signals. This is the circuit we're going to build, and it is in the photoconductive implementation. Here's a summary of the circuit we designed on the last video. One thing to note is if you haven't watched the video on how to design a photodiode circuit, I highly recommend going back and watch it. Here we have all the information we need that includes all the values for you to build that circuit. Let's begin with the trans impedance amplifier. For this design, we're going to use the MCP6491 op amp because of its features such as low input bias current, low input offset voltage, rail to rail input and output, and unity gain stable. This makes it a good choice for photodiode amplifier applications. Then we select the feedback resistor and the feedback capacitor. Connect all the components. Then add a VDD and a VL pin. To do this, just go to Place, Connectors, Terminal, select two of them. Now double click on one of the connectors and name it VDD. And do the same for the other connector, but name it VL. Then select a feedback capacitor and a feedback resistor. Click on each of the components and assign the values we previously chose. The next step is to design the bias network. A bias voltage is applied to the op-amp's non invariant input to prevent the saturation at the negative power supply. To design the voltage divide resistors, go to Place, Passives, Resistors. Begin by placing two resistors, add a connector and name it VDD, and add another connector and name it VREF. Assign one of the resistors at 16 kilo ohms and assign the other one to 1 kilo ohm. Assign the value of 1 microfarad to the capacitor C2. Connect all the components and this bias network will provide a 300 millivolts when given a 5 volt input. The next step is to design the photodiode equivalent circuit. A photodiode can be represented by a current source, a junction shunt resistance, and a junction capacitance. To design the photodiode equivalent circuit, go to Place, Model from Library, Dio. A large selection of dials are going to pop up, and you need to look for the ideal dial. Just go to the search bar and type ideal, and it will come up. Place it and connect all the components. Then assign all the values from our design sheet sheet shown on the screen. The dial capacitance at 70 picofarad and the connector's shunt resistance at 1 giga ohm. The next step is to add the voltage supply. To do that, select Place Voltage Sources, double click and assign it to 5 volts, add a connector and name it VDD, enable DC on the top right corner, click OK, add a connector, name it VREF, and then assign it to 300 millivolts. Now to do the simulations, we need to choose the analysis type. Here on the screen, I have a summarized version of all the steps and what the output should look like. You can use this as reference if you're creating the design on MPLAB MinD, which I highly recommend so you can get familiar with the tool. Let's begin with the AC sweep analysis. To choose the AC sweep symbol, go to Place, Current Sources, and select AC Source, and add two connectors. Name one of the connectors Signal In, and the other connector Signal Out. Place signal in on the photodiode and place the output signal on the V out of the circuit. To choose the analysis, go to Simulator, Choose Analysis, select AC, and on the right side on the analysis mode, select AC. Select the parameters. Then to be able to see the output, we need to select a body plot. To do this, go to Probe AC Noise, select Body Plot Probe. A window will pop up and select the measurements. Select all. Click OK. Then run the analysis. The body plot graph on the screen represents the gain and the phase of the circuit as a function of frequency. In this analysis, we found that the bandwidth of the circuit is 17.13 Hz. The next step is to run a DC sweep. Here we have the steps, the parameters, and the expected output of the DC sweep analysis. To run the analysis, go to Place, Current Sources, and select DC Source, 
and replace it instead of an AC sweep analysis. Then choose the analysis by selecting Simulator, Choose Analysis, select DC, assign the parameters, start value at 0, still value of 50 microamps, number of points at 50, DC sweep, and name the device. Click OK. Then select a current probe. So to do that, go to Probe, Place Fix Current Probe, name it Detector Current, and place it right by the detector. Then to select the Signal Out Probe, go to Probe, Place Fix Voltage Probe, name it Signal Out, and place the output signal on the V out of the circuit. Then run the analysis and see the results. A DC transfer characteristic analysis is used to verify the output voltages of the circuit. The output current of the photodiode is swept from 0 to 50 microamps and the output voltage is plotted. When the input current is 0, the simulated output voltage is 300 millivolts. When the input current is 50 microamps, the simulated output voltage is 2.7 volts. The last step is to run a transient analysis. Here we have the steps, the parameters, and the expected output of the transient analysis. To do this, go to Place, Current Sources, Waveform Generator, then double click on the transient symbol and edit the waveform. Then choose the Analysis, Simulator, Choose Analysis, select Transient, set stop time at 5M, then select Transient on the top right corner, click OK, and run it. Based on the configuration of the photodiode input current at 50 microamps, we expect the output voltage of the circuit to be at 2.7 volts. This simulation matches our design. Now, to build the photovoltaic implementation of the photodiode amplifier circuit, just simply connect the anode of the photodiode to the non-inverted input of the OPAM using the same circuit. Then you can proceed to run the same analysis types and graph the results. Now, how do we know that it's in the photovoltaic mode? Well, we simply check that the anode and the cathode are at the same potential. And as we can see, they are. On the next video, we're going to cover the photodiode amplifier circuit noise analysis. Thank you for watching.